What's up guys? I just got this email from Sarah. She's from Ohio and uh, she asked me for some tips and advice on starting your own uh, small business. And uh, I typed out like five tips for her and I emailed it to her and she said they were great. And uh, I figured, you know, I might as well share it with you guys too because these tips are, you know, something that I've tried and they're proven systems that work. So um, let me read you the first thing I typed to her. Uh, tip number one was don't go into business only thinking about making quick profits. You got to think long term. Most successful businesses are the ones that uh, focus on providing value and building strong relationships. If you do both, I guarantee you the money will follow. And uh, tip number two was start off small. The best thing to do is test out the water before you dive in. I started ink press custom t-shirts out of my garage. I bought a four color uh, screen press and supplies on Craigslist. Total investment was around like uh, 500 or something, around $500. And within the first month, I made around 400 bucks. And then the second month, I made about 620. And then the third month, I made over four grand. And that was off two sales alone. So start off small and uh, see where it goes. That way, if um, if you start off small, you won't have you know a lot to risk, a lot to lose, you know. And uh, tip number three: always keep in touch with the customer before and after you make a sale. Like most businesses, they fail because after they make the sale, they don't really follow up on the the customer. You know, they don't really ask them, you know, whether they like the product, was everything okay? You know, they don't really keep in touch. They just sell you something and then they kick your ass out the door. You know, so you, your main goal is to take care of your customers to the point where uh, they have no choice but to do business with you. If they go somewhere else, they can't get the same service as they can, you know, get from you. So give them the best damn service to the point where they have no choice but to do business with you. Then tip number four, when you start making profits, don't go spending it on crap. What you should do is taking that money and reinvesting it in your business to help it grow. You know. And then tip number five is always remember that in building a business, the successful ones know that it's not always about making money. It's about who you become in the process of building your business. Like building a business is not easy. I mean, you have to go through a lot. You know, you have to go through a lot of changes in yourself. You gotta learn to be fearless, creative, and assertive. You know, so building a business is tough, but you know what, if you don't give up, you set goals, you take action you can actually do it and uh that's pretty much all i emailed her but i thought they were good tips and i figured you know what i might as well share it with you guys